Nothing to do around here. Boring, said Jack Biddle. Boring, said his brother Pete. Go outside and play, said Mrs. Biddle. Who can I play with? asked Jake. My best friend Max is away. Play with your brother, said Mrs. Biddle. He's a baby, said Jake. Jake did a somersault off the couch. Pete did a somersault off the couch. He's a copycat too, said Jake. Outside, Jake flopped down under the lemon tree. Pete flopped down beside him. Move over, said Jake. You stink. You stink, said Pete. You double stink, said Jake. You double stink, said Pete. Triple stink, said Jake. Triple stink, said Pete. Jake did not know what to say next. Copycat, he said. Just then, Jack's cat Fanny walked by. My cat is the smartest cat on the planet Earth, said Jack. Not on the whole planet, said Pete. In the whole universe, said Jack. On Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Pluto too. Jake had learned lots of things in first grade. There is one more planet, thought Jake. He could not remember it, but Pete would not know there was one more planet. He had not learned about planets in kindergarten. Then he can do tricks, said Jake. Jake snapped his fingers. Roll over, Fanny, said Jake. Fanny rolled onto her back. She just won her tummy scratched, said Pete. Stay, Fanny, said Jake. Fanny stayed. Ha! Some, some trick, said Pete. He tossed a twig near Fanny. Fetch, Fanny, Pete called. Fanny yawned at the twig. Cats don't fetch, said Jack. Everyone knows that. Ha! The smartest cat in the universe will fetch, said Pete. You stink, said Jack. You stink, said Pete. Jack and Pete chase each other around the lemon tree. They spray each other with the garden hose. Then they flop down beside Fanny. Mrs. Biddle came outside. She had ice cream bars and lemonade. Having fun? Mrs. Biddle asked. Sort of, said Jack. Sort of, said Pete. 